What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to take a look at how to install this awesome plugin that allows us to stream our PS Vita screen onto our PC. And I'm currently running off 3.73 with H on Core 2 and it's working just fine. I've been toying around with it for the past hour and a half and I haven't seen any issues whatsoever. So let's go ahead and get started. A few things you have to keep in mind. Obviously you must be uh, running on custom firmware in order for this to work and it's highly recommended to be at least 3.60 custom firmware in order for this to work efficiently uh, number two you must have a computer running Windows XP or newer with a USB 2.0 port and that's pretty much any computer if you're running something older it's not gonna work but I'm pretty sure everyone is up to date and as for my Mac users I will have a separate video for you by next week or by the end of the month so stay tuned also you must have a streaming software installed on your computer and that can either be Streamlabs OBS regular OBS or pop player and in this video I'll be demonstrating how to use it on the OBS software and so uh, that's pretty much it uh, make sure you have a 3.5 millimeter jack to jack adapter if you want to hear the audio playing on your PC or if you want to record audio on your PC and just mess around with your sound settings and see how that works for you uh, every computer is different some of them are plug and play mine had some type of like music software or something sound software that's a little bit more different uh, just because I have a gaming motherboard and it's controlled by some of the different software on there so I'm not going to show you how to get the music or the audio playing on your system just because uh, my computer is just a lot different than most so and obviously you must have your USB cable this will work for PSP 2000 and the PSP 1000 and I'm currently connected on my proprietary cable here the original PSP 1000 uh, cable to my computer and I do have an extended cable running to my computer so it's working just fine as you can see uh, no issues there just make sure you're using a 2.0 USB port on your computer so let's go ahead and get started by going to our Vita shell and we're gonna connect our Vita through the FTP client here we go you can press start and make sure that the select button is selected through FTP let's go back press select and now we can go to our desktop and open up our FTP client and I'm going to be using FileZilla because this is the one that works best for me. There we go. And I do have a quick connect here, which is nice. Perfect. This is ready to go. Head on over to the first link in the description down below and that will take you to GitHub.com. And here we have the Vita UDCD UVC version 1.4 and we have three different files three different skprx files and the author did add the support to turn on and off your displays while you're connecting or disconnecting through the USB uh, connection so the first file is gonna work for both generations no problem but you won't be able to turn off your uh, display so you can't turn it on and off and the second one is for our OLED Vitas the version or first generation Vitas and you have the ability to turn it on and off while you're streaming onto your PC and the third file is for our uh, LCD Vitas the Vita 2000 so we're just gonna do the first file here and just click on that and it should start downloading let's show in our folder perfect and let's move this out of the way and now we're going to go to our FileZilla, our FTP client. And you want to drop this in, in the correct uh, folder that you have all your uh, plugins configured. And for me, I do have everything under the URO folder. So I can double click that. Go to your TIE folder. And now you can just drag that into this section here and since I already have it I'm not gonna override it just because I don't want to screw up the uh, the streaming process right now um, so next we're gonna go to our config.txt file we're gonna open that up 
and under kernel you want to add this line URO or URX depending on how your Vita is configured uh, colon tie backslash UDCD underscore UVC dot SKPRX and I'll have that uh, available for you in the description so you can copy and paste it go to file save now we can go back on our Vita and finish everything up there alright so here we are on our Vita and we're gonna cancel our FTP server we're gonna disconnect and now we're gonna reboot our Vita but make sure to have your cable connected to your PC at all times and if you want your audio cable connected go ahead and do that as well and press start and now hit reboot okay so our PS Vita just restarted and we're gonna go to H on core 2 and just run that hopefully it works on the first try here because I've been having issues lately awesome let's hit exit and your plugin should be working right away and I'm gonna restart my OBS real quick and I'm just gonna move my camera here real quick alright so here is the Vita connected and just ran each Encore 2 and let's see here if we can see the camera and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to restart my OBS my Streamlabs OBS and I did notice that I had to restart my computer in order for it to work on the uh, OBS here so let's open that up and there we go you should see a selection of PS Vita on your OBS uh, let's take a look here because it's still not wanting to work on me there we go as you can see it's a little glitchy but it worked finally and I'll go ahead and demonstrate what you have to do on OBS in order for it to uh, connect so that's yeah, working just fine you can see nice and here is the screenshot alright so I'm gonna do the quick demonstration on OBS here and if you did everything right it should show up under your devices and once you open up the software uh, create a scene just press plus down here create a scene let's create scene 6 and go into your sources hit the plus button and go to video capture device and now we can create a new device here let's uh, rename this PS Vita hit OK and right away you should see the device or the PS Vita show up under device here uh, just like that so the plugin basically just kinda pretends to be like a camera and it just shows the PS Vita screen which is nice um, and you can just adjust to fit the screen like that and now you can start playing your favorite games and things like that which is nice and as far as the audio goes just make sure to connect your um, audio cable through your PC and make sure you have that option to have the line in um, not all computers are gonna have that you're only gonna have two options most computers only have the headset and microphone so just try to work with it see how uh, your sound settings are configured just go through that uh, Google it, uh, your certain motherboard, sorry, motherboard or the, the version you're running on, uh, Windows or whatever, and just uh, go from there. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And that is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions whatsoever, please comment down below. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this one in the future. And if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. Take care, guys, and I will see you on the next one.